Hey Pisces, it's Mama TPG with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your energy check-in. I'm just going to do a quick energy check-in because I will be on the road for the next week and I wanted to connect with you all. So thank you so much for watching. Let's get into it. We're going to start with an astrology reading card. So Holy Spirit, show me clearly what is the energy for Pisces. We are going through cosmic energy that has never been felt by anyone alive. So once in a lifetime energy. So what is the energy, Holy Spirit? Okay, and we have Pluto. Your ability to transform, take a big leap forward and rebirth. And that is the Phoenix, Phoenix rising there. I love that. And I don't know of any sign better equipped to um, to make the best of a rebirth. All right, let's get a mystical wisdom card. And we have money, find a way to abundance. So I definitely see that you're going to have a rebirth in the material world. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's see how this is playing out for you. What is the recent past energy for Pisces? What's the recent past energy for Pisces? And we have the world. Yeah, completing a cycle successfully and then really starting out going through a whole new portal a whole new gateway into an even better higher path that's what i'm getting here what is the current energy sorry i'm shuffling right by the camera i have a limited amount of space solar plexus chakra so yeah just gaining a this last cycle has been so difficult for you so it's like you know now you've overcome that you're successfully moving on and you can move through it with confidence self-assurance and courage what is the challenge here and we have seven of swords seeking the truth truth seeker is what I, what came to mind immediately so yes there's been things that have happened in the past but it's like you've overcome those so don't get in your own way and that's what i'm getting and sometimes we're looking for apologies, we're looking for the truth, and sometimes we will not find the truth. It's about being okay and accepting of that, and then when the timing is right, you will find the truth. All right, what is the... Okay, this was trying to come out. This is the advice from Spirit, awaiting results. So we're not sitting by waiting, we're still in action doing, but, but again, we've put in the investment, we've sown our seeds and we're waiting to see what the result is but you don't just sit and wait you keep on moving forward what's the outcome here and we have the sacral chakra so i feel like that's the next thing here right it's like where is your creativity your sensuality that's where you're going to be focusing on that's what this new cycle is going to be all about yeah, really opening up. This is the bottom of the deck. Opening up and being able to experience things on the whole new level because we've cleared and, and um, I don't know why I'm getting encouraged, our sacral chakra. It's like we've, we're going to open up and expand in that area. So let's go ahead and clarify why is this world card here? As the recent past energy for Pisces, Holy Spirit, show me clearly. And we have patience. Yeah, I feel like this has just been a long time coming. And you've sown the seeds again. That's what it looks like here. But it's like the alchemy has to take place. You know, the, the recipe has to be has been followed but now it's just awaiting the results that's what we have here so it doesn't mean that we don't keep going and keep um while we're waiting you know that's what i'm getting here why is the solar plexus chakra here as the current energy 
and we have the sacral chakra. So they may work hand in hand. I mean, all chakras work together and clearing, you know, if you don't, if you ignore one and you clear all the others, then they're not going to work properly in tandem. So what is this? Seek the truth as the challenge. What is that about? And we have the hermit. And so I feel like the answers are within you. The truth is within you. And it's like um, doing that inner soul journey. And it's been difficult because it's something that you've been seeking outside of yourself when it's been inside all along. Why is the Seven of Pentacles awaiting results here as the advice? And we have the Seven of Swords again. Well, right here. So awaiting results, deception and envy, it says. But that's the point. It's not comparing yourself to others, but this is getting in your own way and being impatient and not um, taking things, the right things seriously. What is the sacral chakra here as the outcome? Why is that here? And we have the nine of swords, suffering in silence. So I feel like yeah, there's been things that need to be said. We have three sevens. We have two twos. We have um, two threes. We have two nines. And that's it. Okay. And the bottom of the deck is the eight of swords. So I feel like this is this prison that you felt trapped in. And it's time to open up. It's time to open up. All righty, let's get some guidance here. Take a big leap forward and rebirth. All right, we have breathe, slow down and contemplate the tea, violets and ivy tangled around the eaves. So, this is just breathe, just not not be so focused on accomplishment because I don't feel like this is where you're at your best. You're at your best when you're being creative, when you're when you're in your own world and not concerned with the ways of this world. That's what I'm getting here. What else do we have? Persevere, leave no stone unturned. So again, not sitting and waiting, but continuing to do you, you know, not, not, um, shutting down while you wait for, you know, it's, it's like, reminds me of like planting seeds and then walking away and hoping they grow without nurturing them. What else do we have? Patience again, wait for the fruit to ripen. So don't, don't be trying to you know, um, count your eggs before they hatch type of thing, I guess. And what else? We have twilight. Surrender to the last hour when the light barely touches the flowers. Nice. So, oh, excuse me, those are the messages that came through. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Like, share, and subscribe. And remember, the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.